You spend six hours creating one piece of content, jumping between ChatGPT, MidJourney, Canva, and five other tools. Sound familiar? But what if I told you I recreated that same project in under 30 minutes using one platform? Today I'm showing you Flora AI. And by the end of this video, you'll wonder why you ever tortured yourself juggling a dozen apps. Stick around. Because in this video, I'm revealing the exact workflow that's saving creators thousands of dollars every single month. Hit that subscribe button to stay tuned because we bring you game-changing AI tools every week. So what exactly is Flora AI? Think of it as your creative command center. One canvas where you do everything. No more copy-pasting, no more app switching, no more flow interruptions. Flora is a visual playground. You build ideas like blocks on a canvas, and the system keeps everything connected and flowing. The real genius? It's not linear. You're not stuck with step one, step two workflows. You're building networks of ideas. So how to get started? It's simple. Go to Flora AI and you can sign in with Google. Let's go right away to new project. Now here's what most people overlook, the shortcuts. Flora shows you keyboard and mouse hacks right away. Zoom in, zoom out, do anything. Seriously, remember these. They'll change how fast you work. The interface might look like mission control at first, but stick with it. Trust the process. Every pro I know says the same thing. Week one is awkward. Week two is addictive. Click the plus button and you get Flora's core trio. Text, image, and video. These aren't separate tools smashed together. They communicate. The text talks to image. Image talks to video. It's one ecosystem. One brain. Your brain. Double click the canvas. Open your first text node. Let's start simple. A fluffy orange cat sitting on a wooden desk next to a laptop. And look at that, there's our enhanced prompt. That's your foundation. Now double click again and create an image node. Before connecting, adjust your settings. Pick from many styles including photorealistic, cinematic, and vector. Next select your aspect ratio, and here you can pick your model from various options. Flux, ideogram, GPT image. Flora AI got all the latest AI models for your hands. Since we are using a free version, I'll go with the Flux model. Watch this. I connect the text node to the image node, and boom. The prompt flows directly. Flora understands context. Hit generate and wait 30 seconds. Grab a snack if you want. As you can see here, the generated image is a perfect fluffy orange cat on a wooden desk. Want variations? Add another image node and prompt. Same cat, but sleeping. Want more? Same cat playing with a toy mouse. Close up of the cat's face. It's not exactly the same cat, but it is close enough. From one idea, we built a full content series. Try doing that in Canva without losing your mind. Now let's animate it. Add a video node, connect it to the image. Flora adjusts settings for video instantly. Simple motion? Make the cat yawning. Flora handles the animation. Not bad, right? But here's where it gets wild. Connect multiple images to one video node. Flora morphs between scenes. No need for a separate animation tool. Yeah, all that's cool. But now let's dive into how we can make this network system for even better use. Upload a photo. Flora analyzes it. Lighting, composition, style. Watch this. I drop in a photo of a golden retriever. Let's type, give me the reverse prompt for this image. And Flora reverse engineers it. Now I can generate similar images in seconds. Connect your cat image to a new text node. Prompt, write a funny caption for this cat. Flora understands the visual and delivers text that matches perfectly. Product descriptions, blog intros, short stories, done in seconds. Let's explore a bit on the interface and navigation beyond the canvas. On the left, you'll see your asset library, all your uploads, generated content, and here, version history tracks everything. Made a mistake? Roll back with one click. Now let's go back home and to community. Look at this. There are several tutorials for the workflows that you can use in Flora AI. So if you didn't understand what I did, you can always watch a tutorial here to learn more. 
Below is the community gallery and this is a gold mine. Watch how pros build their workflows and hey, you can even clone them. Save your workflows as templates. You can have one for thumbnails, one for short form video and one for blog visuals. Saves hours. Now let's talk about the pricing. You get 500 free credits a month and I'm still on the free version. Pro plan, $20 a month. 20,000 credits, unlimited projects with access to all models with team collaboration. Sounds like it's well worth for the money. But the real value is time. Three hour workflows now take 30 minutes. That's more time for clients, content, or cat videos. Anyway, the bottom line is, Flora AI isn't just another shiny tool, it's a complete creative upgrade. But let's be real, it has a learning curve. If you want instant drag and drop simplicity, this may not be for you. But if you're chasing professional output with pro level speed, Flora is your new best friend. The link's in the description. What will you create first? A product photo? A short animation? A meme with your cat? Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to AI with TechSnap so you don't miss it. Until then, keep creating and keep innovating.